joining us to discuss the latest trends and of course the most important looks for spring summer 2015 is our fashion director miss alexis chiffre may chiffre being very kind of french itself right alexis yes originally yes. <laughs> bonjour <laughs> you're looking so wonderful today so i mean pa paris fashion week so inspirational mm. what were some of the significant trends that we'll probably be seeing in and around our own fashion circles in the next season so really paris does round off this whole season of yes. fashion weeks and we see that the trends that are there that we've seen in other cities are definitely going to be the key trends nice. for 2015. So here, first of all, was the sexy suit. And okay. we saw a little bit this, of this at other fashion weeks, but I think Paris really brought it home. Mm. It's low-cut suits. There is nothing underneath but what? skin. So it is very, very sexy. You have to be very careful how you wear this one in real life. Okay. So, so if, you are, if you are well endowed, you should probably stay away from I think this just one. Wear a little cami top underneath, I think. <laughs> okay. No reason to go full runway. But yeah, the look is very, so it's this whole masculine chic thing, which has become a little bit of a movement in fashion. And definitely that was one of the key looks. Yes. The next, of course, was the cut out elements oh, to awesome. garments. So this is quite an interesting one. And we haven't actually seen this trend before. So this is a great new one to look at. Yeah. Um, it's taking what is actually quite a, maybe a conservative garment. And then you're just adding in that cut out detail. And okay. definitely the hip detail was yeah. the part to flaunt. I like the Balmain one, that was very nice. Beautiful, very yeah. sexy. And then in keeping with this kind of peekaboo flesh theme and it's following in the sports luxe trend. Mm. Um, we saw a lot of you know innovations in fabric and this one of course is your laser cut fabrics. Okay. And it's interesting because it gives the fabric a pattern but without there being a pattern. You no, know, it's an incredible innovation in fabric where they actually laser cut out these patterns so that wow. there's, there's sheerness to it, it's great for layering and of course this check, um, we saw it back in last winter as well, the yeah. window pane check as they call it, and this is also looking like it's going to be a key trend. Very nice. And Ooh, again, yes. more skin. I love this one. And on top of all the sheer layering that we saw, we also saw a lot of black lace. Black lace yeah. Givenchy, they went very sexy this season, very sexy with like all this kind of beautiful lace-up detail and the lace itself. So this is definitely a key fabric that we're going to see coming through for Spring Summer 15. So gorgeous. And this was not a major trend for me. I, I like to call this raw texture. Okay. Um, but it was definitely a trend that we saw in a, a few of the key shows. And really it's about using those loose ends of the mm. fabric and making a texture out of it. And I think it's quite an interesting look to play with, especially when you're going, you know, white on white or monotone styling, just to add a bit of three dimension to the look. I love it. And then the leather tassels, of course, it's keeping wow. with the same kind of trend. It's adding that texture to the look, that movement to it, which I think is really beautiful for spring summer. I mean, you look at these looks here and they look quite wintry, but I think, you know, it's that, that movement that gives it that, like, spring element to it. Yeah. Really, really beautiful. Very I mean, nice. yeah, beautiful. And, and of course, denim, of course. Denim. Now, again, we saw a lot of denim in Milan. It's still huge. And here, Paris, really, again, they brought mm. it to the forefront. I like these jumpsuits that are almost like workman overall kind yeah. of styling, but they're still sexy in their own way, very chic. Yeah. So definitely you can add denim to your checklist <laughs> for okay. next season. Ooh, and then, of course, prints. And prints, you know, yes. moving into prints. We saw so many beautiful prints at yeah. all, like, our key capitals. But really, I mean, this one on the end by Chanel, just mm -hmm. incredible. I think it's kind of moving through this theme of we're seeing in this spring summer, yeah. this what they call art class, mm -hmm. where it's impressionistic art prints. And yeah. really, it's in theme with that. This nice. head to toe, beautiful, you know, like you're a canvas, just Very exceptional. Cool. And then talking about prints, we also saw a lot of traditional Asian influence, yeah. whether it be in prints, in silhouette, or I even in this. your jacquard silk um, that we oh. saw in um, Lanvin as well. Just really, really beautiful. Again, it's quite traditional. We've seen it a couple of years ago, but it looks like it's back. Yeah. Just, you know, a slight little subtle undertone for for the next season very cool and in keeping with this eastern theme we also saw a lot of waist belts yes you know whether it be you know these wrap fabric options like you see in a kimono or really wide leather like obi Gorgeous. belts definitely there was a lot of emphasis on the waist this season yeah. Yeah. and the next trend for you which you're not going to believe it cycling shorts cycling shorts no cycling shorts oh my word all the key collections had yeah. them they're knee length they're super tight wow yeah Oh um, my word! You I, know, I may just leave that one, but let, it's there. let's leave that one. I think that's <laughs> just gonna like put make everybody like really depressed. But it's, it, it was awesome. Paris Fashion Week, yes, I think, always was amazing, incredible. very inspirational. Wow. Thank you so much, Miss Alexis. Always keeping things very trendy and very fashion focused here on Expresso. So um, hopefully you like what you saw, and hopefully you can kind of adopt it in your own personal style as well. I think Graham um, definitely was inspired by that. Graham, what did you think of Paris Fashion Week?